What's up YouTube? This is Rebecca the Diva coming at you with another video. But before I get into this video, if you're new, welcome to the fam. My name is Rebecca. Hey! All I'd like for you to do is go right on ahead and hit that subscribe button. And when you do that, hit the notification bell and select all. Therefore, if YouTube is not bugging and tripping and tripping and bugging, when I upload, hopefully they'll notify you. Hit the share button because sharing is caring. There are no secrets over here on this channel. No, we tell everything. Hit that like button because guess what guys, it really helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down in the comment section, good or bad, but please don't be negative because I will return that favor. And for everybody who's coming back again, welcome back Diva Gang. What's up guys? How's everything going? It is Tuesday the 22nd. I owe y'all three videos. Like I kind of fell behind because I got sidetracked with my two oldest kids and their BS and drama. Whew. And um... Yesterday, someone decided to hack my business Instagram page, so I was dealing with that. Ended up having to make a whole new Instagram, so I will put the new Instagram for my business down in the description box. It's always something, y'all. It's just literally always something. Um, basically, this video is just going to be a reaction video on who... Strong Mommy Chrissy. I just had to. I saw the live that she did, I believe it was yesterday. I saw one because I know she did two. But I saw the first one, you know, about the so-called pregnancy due date. <laughs> and she's making jokes in the um in the live talking about yeah, my due date is February thirty first, twenty twenty one. And we all know February only has twenty eight days or whatever. So she was funny. Um, but old girl said that she's not pregnant. She's just fat. And she jiggled her little jelly roll, proving that she was just fat. So, so I'm like, oh, you know, why would she hide a whole pregnancy? So, I think we need to rejog her memory. Because if we go, all go back, and those of who follow her channel, back in 2018, November, December-ish, around this time, she was so-called pregnant and had a abortion. And that's how the beef came out I think between her and Liz and then bumping on into 2019 she was like really missing from the scene for a while and when she did come back on YouTube she was pregnant with Onyx and she was about I think five months when she, in a, she revealed her bump and Lo and behold, if you go from November to uh, Onyx was born August of 2019, that's nine months. So you did hide your pregnancy. It's like maybe some of your subbies that watch you are dumb, but a lot of us who watch are not dumb, you're stupid. We know how to we know how to add and subtract. But she says she's not pregnant or whatever, so we're gonna take her word for it. And I mean, she's had nine kids, so. Yeah, she has a lot of tummy there. I mean, I've had only four. I was pregnant five times, lost one. But let me see if I can put this camera down a little bit and focus on. But if you see my belly, I look, and I haven't even eaten. I've had literally had uh, iced coffee, which I'm still sipping on, and two French toast sticks. I'm about to have my lunch right now. But as you can see, I look like I'm pregnant. I look exactly like I'm pregnant, but I'm not. This is all four babies. So, having us women having babies, we get these baby bumps, you know. But when you turn having a baby into a sport, <laughs> that's when people start to say, Oh, is she pregnant? Is she pregnant? Look at her stomach. But... <laughs> it is what it is. She says she's not so we gonna believe her, okay, y'all? Until the registry goes up next early part of you know the new year, and then we'll all know for sure. Um, what else can we talk about here? That's just about her. About, about it for her, y'all know I don't deal with. I can't stomach her. I literally cannot. Um, and I'm eating these noodles, guys. These ramen noodles that's in this little bowl. I've never seen them like this before. And I got them from my local Walmart, and I had one yesterday. I bought one last week, and I didn't eat it till yesterday. And oh my god, it was so good! Like, it was good. <laughs> so it's different from the regular packet ones. 
they give you some extra kind of flavoring stuff and it makes it good I put some garlic powder and black pepper in there and I'm eating it because it is good don't oh Rebecca the Diva was eating noodles she ain't got no food when your food in the, in the, in the, in the um, refrigerator and in the pantry these are bomb they smack it okay it's not gonna fill me up so after I eat this I'll probably do the wrong thing and take a nap because I'm tired and when I get up from my nap I'll probably eat some leftover dinner from like two nights ago and I don't want to throw it out so I'm gonna eat that and then figure out what I'm gonna cook for dinner um but yeah these are good guys um my jazzy life I've been kind of quiet over there since um her hipster boyfriend showed his ass on that um live stream trying to clear whatever he was trying to do because I don't think he cleared anything up but it's business as usual with her I think she released the video earlier I watched like the first two minutes of it but basically she was just talking about doing sponsorships she was doing her sponsorships and I got patience for that um all I'm gonna say is this I'm waiting on the registry for the housewarming for Jasmine because it's obvious she gotta move The condition that that house is in, that apartment is in, I doubt very seriously she's gonna get a security deposit back. Like, baby, unless they plan on painting. Y'all gotta excuse me for getting on here eating and drinking, but I'm hungry. Like, literally, my stomach is hurting, hungry, and I am drinking a Tahitian fruit punch. I love these damn things. Um, but other than that, that's all I've got, you know, y'all know how it goes with me. When these bitches do something that's worthy of reacting to, then I react to it. Another thing I want to talk about is another YouTuber that I, I, I somewhat follow. I don't watch all of her videos, but I mainly, um, which would be Keisha Kaylee, Ke Keisha Anderson. I normally will watch her, like, post, um... Oh, pre quarantine like that would be my routine because she posts every day every morning at 8 a.m. So while I was up getting the kids off and ready to school that was my Time slot to watch and catch up with what's going on with her so as we know She so-called broke up with Jeremy Postel who's her boyfriend slash baby daddy She got three kids by him a set of twins and then she just had a baby I think in August July or August, because I think she was pregnant right around the same time that my daughter was pregnant. So she has a four or five month old, because my granddaughter is four months. And, um, <laughs> when she was seven and a half months pregnant, basically she found out that old boy got a baby, and the baby moms, I think her name is Alicia. They call her Lily. She she just started a YouTube page, so it's called the the Leeway, L I W A Y, something like that. I watched yesterday because yesterday she posted the the first video that she posted was of her gender reveal for Jeremy's baby, which hmm, she gave him a boy, so he has a son. Now, if it was me. Because y'all know I always got to add my two cent worth in. And I I was Keisha. I damn sure would feel a way about that. Because I didn't had been pregnant two times for you. First time got a set of twin girls. Second time got a little girl. girl and now this one bitch come in one wife and give you a son. Mmm. That stings. That stings bad. But she knew. My thing is with that situation... Keisha knows what Jeremy is about. Keisha puts up with what Jeremy does. Period. And that's all I'm going. I mean, he probably got many more babies out there floating around that ain't even come to the surface yet. 
but yeah i'm just sitting back waiting to see what the end result is going to be about that i think the other day he came out and apologized publicly or whatever i'm like boy bye i better watch your sad ass apology because next year it'll be another bitch pregnant probably you know but that's that i mean i'm just like i said i've been getting beats, bits and pieces of it i did watch the baby mama's channel first video that she premiered so She's a cute little girl. She looks more so Hispanic than anything. Um, it is what it is. These dudes are reckless. And I don't know what. Like, they have a main girlfriend slash fiance slash wife. But then have two, three other females. And then my thing is, nobody's using protection. So, then here come all these babies. But, hey. It is what it is. Um... This video right that you're seeing is going to be my Vlogmas 20 because like I said, I'm behind. I do have more videos coming for you guys. I got more girl talk. Thank you guys so much for watching my girl talks and everything. I enjoy doing them. Like I said, I'm not a love guru. I'm not a love doctor. I just use common sense when it comes to dating and men. Period. Per. But, um, so we have more videos coming. I'm going to try to get them posted today, but like I said, I need a nap. <laughs> And when I uh, wake up from my nap and figure out what it is I'm going to get these two kids for dinner, then I'm definitely going to record another video. I have two videos. I owe you guys two videos. So I'm going to try to get those done today. You will see this video today. Like I said, it's Tuesday. And I ain't doing nothing. I'm bored. I got orders to fill, like I said. And once again, for those of you who followed me on my Instagram, Instagram, um, business account okay not for the not Rebecca the diva but the fearless diva lashes I scrapped that one someone hacked it I was being accused of things that I did not do like stealing people's pictures and posting them on my website They're like you girl bye you know and then they kept slandering me and that I couldn't even get into my account at one point so I was like you know what F it I'm going to just make another one and that's what I did because I don't have time for BS. That's one thing I could tell you guys. Being in the beauty industry, business industry, whether you selling lashes or lip glosses or any other type of makeup or clothing or jewelry, it's like the market is so oversaturated and it's like a lot of people are like crabs in a barrel. It's like they're on top of each other trying to get to the top. And I just don't use Instagram to promote my business. Like, the bulk of my promoting comes goes through Instagram, but I have multiple other platforms that I go through to promote my business. Um, it's messy. And on Facebook groups, like anywhere that you see, and I hate to say this, but anywhere you see ethnic people, mainly black people, it's always some BS and, and it's sad that in this day and time where we should be sticking together, we don't. It's always some drama and I don't do drama any shape, form. I'm like, Psh, you know what? I'm going to make a new Facebook page, a new Pinterest page, a new Twitter page, anything just to stay drama free. I don't have time for it. I got too much other important stuff going on in my life than to go back and forth with some teenager, you know, over pettiness. But... Yeah, I will put the description, in the description box, I will put my um, new Instagram business page. Rebecca the Diva still works, no problem with that. Feel free to follow me on there. Follow me on all my social media platforms. I will list them down below. Like I said, this is my Vlogmas 20. I'm trying to stay caught up, guys. I really am. Like, I'm not good with this vlogging everyday shit. Like, I... I be got, I be getting too much going on, too much be going on, yes ma'am, but hey, I'm handling it, like I said, I'm going to try to get y'all two more videos today, or at least one more, because my girl talk is probably going to be a little lengthy, so I want, yeah, I'll probably have to do that in two parts, I don't know yet, but until next time guys, bye.